So welcome to my channel Fakrudin Academy Physics. Today I would like to discuss about what is an energy of photon and how this photon behaves like a particle as well as a wave. So now let me discuss here. Let us consider this is a sun. From this sun light comes in the form of a particle and in each particle there is a wave here. This is called as packet of energy. This is called as packet of energy and this is given the name as photon. Okay. So from the sun light comes in the form of a photon and each and every photon is having one wave that is called as dual nature of light. What is the meaning of dual nature of light? Light behaves like a particle as well as a wave. So from the sun, light comes in the form of a small packets that to discrete packets. Discrete means there is a gap here, okay? So one packet will come outside, a little bit gap. Another packet will come outside, a little bit gap. So like this, light comes in the form of a packet which is also called as quanta. Which is also called as quanta. And this packet of energy is also called as photon. Then, what is the energy of that photon? What is the power developed because of that photon? So here, you all know that energy is nothing but H nu. For each and every photon, energy is H nu because energy is directly proportional to frequency. When you remove this proportional, you will get a constant which is called as a Planck's constant. And this was explained by Max Planck. And E is equal to H nu. We all know that V is equal to N lambda in sound and C is equal to nu lambda in light. You can also write nu is equal to C by lambda here. Therefore, E can be written as H C by lambda. We can also write this as H C by lambda because nu is equal to C by lambda. Then what is the power here? So, power of a photon. How to find out the power of a photon P? So power is equal to energy by time. You all know about this. Power is nothing but energy by time for a single photon. We can write this as one photon. For example, if there are n photons coming from the sun, we can write this as n into E by T. And if you write here E as H C by lambda into T is present here. Okay. You can take this as n as small n or capital n, what it may be. So therefore, we can also write this as power is equal to n by t, which is equal to hc by lambda. So this is the formula for power, where n by t represents number of photons per second. It is representing number of photons per second. Okay. So we write this as number of photons per second. If you want to find out number of photons per second, you just write the formula here, you can write this as n by t is equal to p lambda by h c by cross multiplying. So in this way, we can find out number of photons per second. Okay. So this is about the total uh, formulas regarding photons. Now let me discuss one more formula here. So we all know that power is nothing but energy by time or power can also be written as work by time and work can be written as force into displacement by time so power is equal to work by time force into displacement by time so here the other formula for power is power is nothing but intensity into area because we all know that intensity is nothing but power passing per unit area so intensity of sunlight is having a formula that intensity is taken as power passing per unit area so this is called as intensity formula power by area so power is equal to intensity into area okay so we have got two formulas now for power so this is first formula this is a second formula uh, therefore we can write this force into displacement by time as force into velocity because displacement by time is taken as velocity here but can you take in light as force into velocity of light as f into c instead of v we write it as c because 
in terms of light we consider the velocity of light as c not v okay so therefore uh, let us imagine this as to be a first formula this is a second formula 1 equal to 2 therefore ia is equal to fc therefore force can be taken as ia by c so this is the formula for force that means whenever on any object light falls on any object if you observe what is the force exerted by the photon on any surface for that there is a formula here so force exerted by photons falling on certain surface is given by the formula that is ia by c so how are you going to get that formula means this is the method to find out the formula for force force is nothing but intensity into area by velocity of light so there is a formula hope you have understood so let us continue for the next Video. Next class. Thank you.